Energy goes where attention flows. See, I've recently been reading this book, right? And this book, um, I didn't used to read at all, right? I wasn't a big fan of it. Never really have ever been a fan of reading just for the fact that I wasn't good at it. And see, what I found is this is a limiting belief that I placed to myself as far when I was a young kid. By the way, I'm going to go ahead and throw that up so you guys can, can make sure that I'm taking care of time for you. Basically, there's a limiting belief that I've always had on myself about reading, that I'm bad at reading. I'm not a good reader. Um, and what this did is this compounded in, in me never reading because I just didn't think I was good at it. So I didn't try and I didn't practice, which then mean, meant that I was never going to be good. So I just cut that out and I started reading a lot more, right? Recently, I read this book called Becoming Supernatural by Joe Dispenza. Joe Dispenza, I, I listen to a lot of podcasts, right? I try to educate myself every once in a while. Um, and in these podcasts, uh, he talks about, basically it's kind of like manifestation, right? And he talks about like creating this future, just with your mind and basically like kind of related to like you almost like that crystal stuff you know when people bring out crystals like I can predict your future blah blah, blah and all that like it's I'm kind of like dude like what why why are you on these big podcasts like what are you talking about like you can't just manifest your future you can't just believe these things to be true yell affirmations in a mirror and something actually comes to fruition like, it doesn't happen. What the hell? Like, what? Why does this guy get a mainstream platform? What is this? But once again, I started reading more. And he has a book, Becoming Supernatural. So this month, I didn't have much going on. Or I had a lot going on, but not much in my reading realm. I uh, didn't have any books lined up. I've read a lot. And so I was like, you know what? I'm going to start reading this one few pages in and start to become intrigued, right? Start to listen a little bit more. Um, start to think of some things that pop up in my life, right? And, and ultimately realizing that obviously, so I'm Christian, right? Uh, and as a Christian, uh, I believe in a higher power, right? Uh, I've been a devoted Christian since I was very young, um, kind of, had was forced on me and then inevitably had my own journey and discovered him, rediscovered um, God through that journey of my own. And so ultimately came back to him and fully surrendered to him. This Joe Dispenza guy, what, what he's talking about is some sort of God, right? And he's, and once again, I'm a Christian. He's not talking about specifically Christianity God, but just a governing body of all of the universe right this is what we is known as god and a lot of the stuff that he talks about in that book is like real world stuff right so for instance uh i fall asleep in a car right uh when i fall asleep in a car sleeping let's say like my I got a crick in my neck or something um I wake up right because I got this crick in my neck I, I want to kind of readjust I'm not sleeping very well so I wake up when I wake up I'm aware friends are in the car right people are driving whatever it may be I'm aware of everyone everyone's doing their own thing they're moving around yet all I can do is move my eyes I can't move my body see I start to panic then because I got this crick in my neck, I want to get, I would, I just want to adjust, like a slight little movement. But I, I literally can't move my body. And so then I really start to freak out again because I'm like, why am I not moving? I can normally do this. I can move my fingers like this and it's not working now. And so then I try to move my fingers because I obviously cannot move my arm, cannot move any of my body parts. And so I try to move my fingers and then I want someone to wake me up. Like, get me out of here. I'm stuck in this body. I can't move. Someone please get me, move me. Help me regain my function, my ability. 
sure enough, I've realized that at this point, calming down, slowing down, breathing puts me back asleep so I can fully wake back up. Right? And when I wake back up, I realize that that whole time I was actually sleeping. And all this was was a figment of my imagination that I created. And, and this is actually a phenomenon known as sleep paralysis. And I get this from time to time, specifically when I take naps, which is one of the reasons why I do not take naps. But after reading this book, I realize that I fight it every single time. Every time I fall into that, I fight it. I don't like it. I want to be in control. I want to know what's going on. What he talks about in this book of becoming supernatural is that what we know, the things that we know is not getting us what we want. Right? It's being comfortable with the uncomfortabilities of the unknown that will actually bring us our true realities of the things that we want and desire see in they there's the law of attraction right and that that's something where what you put into this world and this universe you will attract back right so if i give one thing inevitably something will come back which before i thought well that's stupid if i give someone a dollar it's not like i just get a dollar back correct you don't. You, you can't just give and then automatically get it back. It doesn't work that way. The universe doesn't work like that. However, what does work is putting attention on things. And I say this works because I've experienced this since reading this book. See, I've started putting attention onto my circumstances into the realities of me Specifically, gathering an audience, building up an audience for myself, and helping them achieve their goals. For me, it's specifically in weight loss. And so me focusing energy on that and the fact that I have an abundance of people that want to work with me. I have an abundance, an array of, a plethora of People who are wanting help, they need help. And they want me to help them. This thought, this loop, this attention that I'm putting on that specific instance is in a sense bringing me more of that. And it's kind of, uh, there's, a, there's a phenomenon. Uh, it starts with the P... Or I'm, I'm blanking on the actual phenomenon name itself, but basically seeing like when you buy a new car, right? Say you bought a brand new Tesla, right? When you buy that brand new car and you're driving around, you're like, man, I'm going to, my friends have Teslas, right? I'm going to be the cool kind of guy. You will all of a sudden start seeing more Teslas drive around. Why is that? I mean, it's not, it's not a matter of there's, now more Teslas that are being bought. See, what's a matter of you understanding and putting attention to that Tesla. See, now instead of just driving by in a car and just keep on driving, now you drive by a car, you try to see it's a Tesla. If it's not, you don't recognize it. You don't remember it. If it's a Tesla, okay, wait, I remember it. See, this was built in as our ancestors Back when they would walk by bushes. See, when they walk by bushes, it's just bush, 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 bush with berries. So they're looking for bushes with berries so they can eat, so they can survive, so they can live. So this is trained into our brain. And so the law of attraction is not the things literally coming to them. It's the, hey, I'm a fitness coach. I'm going to tell more people about my fitness coaching. Thus, that's going to present opportunities about my fitness coaching because it's at the top of my mind, just like the berries are. I'm hungry. I need more berries. Boom, I see a bush of berries. I think of that, not this other bush over here. I don't even see it. I got the bush of berries. See, for me, as a fitness coach, I look for people who are overweight and need help. Now, all of a sudden, I, talk to, I engage with them more. 
Now, it's not a law of attraction. No, it's just that being the front of my brain. And so it actually, what he talks about in this book is true. These are logical principles that are literally true. And so when you focus, what you put your focus on, where your attention goes, energy then flows. And so if you focus on negative circumstances, negative outcomes, negative things that are going to happen in your life, then guess what? You're putting energy into that negativity, which is feeding and fueling that negativity. Bringing you more and more negativity. You want to be broke? Keep on thinking that you're broke. Keep on believing that. Keep on looking at your bank account and feeling how little money you have. And you will continue to stay broke. Now swap it. Think how much money I have. How much money do I have compared to when I was a kid? How much abundance, how much things, how much materials do I actually like possess? Like why, how, how can I get more? I can get more. It's very easy to get more. Where are the opportunities to get more? Now all of a sudden, boom, 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 opportunities start appearing left and right. Now you can go down this path and this path instead of being stuck in this paralysis, stuck in that body. Not being able to escape fear, anxiety, stress, anger, hate, all of this. You're not surrendering to the higher power. Instead, you're fighting it. You are trying to survive in a world in which you must be capable of thriving. If you do not possess the capability to thrive... Ultimately, you will be replaced with someone who has that capability. So I'm here to tell you that you are in abundance. You can live this life fully to your ultimate capacity. Becoming the best version of yourself without thinking that you don't have enough. That maybe you are lacking in finances. Maybe you are lacking in the genetics. Whatever it may be. You're not. I highly, highly, highly recommend that book. Becoming Supernatural by Joe Dispenza. It's a little, it's a little long for a uh, book, and, but there are good ideas, good messages in there. Once again, I'm a Christian. So God is my ultimate being. He is the person I submit to. I don't know what your beliefs may be. This book will help you harness that energy, help you use that energy to build the life that you truly want. Now. Right now. You don't have to wait. You are in full abundance. You can live this life. I hope you intend on doing so. Thank you guys for watching. I'm going to continue to be here. Love for you to hit that subscribe button. See you in the next one.